Hey traders, I made a very nice profit shorting the breakout of the skewed rising wedge pattern on pound New Zealand. So far more than 200 pips of pure profit is made. Actually wedge pattern is a very accurate price action pattern. And in this video I will teach you how to properly spot that. I will try to explain to you the logic behind this pattern. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's start. So first of all, how do we spot a wedge pattern? You must remember that wedge pattern is the price action pattern. It is based on the price action. For that reason, you should start with the price action analysis. What do we mean by the price action analysis? We mean the analysis of the legs of a move. And how do we analyze them? We simply take the line and we follow the moves from highs to lows and from lows to highs. Yes, we draw such kind of zigzags and we are trying to follow the recent price fluctuations. We are trying to follow the impulses, the retracements. And why do we need that? We need that because it helps us to get what is the current market trend. It helps us to understand what is happening with the market and it helps us to spot the patterns. So here we were following the impulses. And the first thing that we can derive from this price action analysis is that the market here is trading in a bearish trend. Yes, we can see that it is falling. We see the sequence of the lower lows, low highs. So the market is trading in a local bearish trend. Then based on the lower highs and lower lows, we can try to draw the trend lines. And a very important tip right here. Remember that it is highly preferable for the trend line to be touched and respect it at least three times. Yes, it will help you to avoid false trend lines, false patterns like false wedges, false channels. So consider three touches, yes, and three consequent reactions. With that in mind, here we can draw the trend line. Taking that level high and drawing a trend line, we can we can have this very cute trend line. Yes, trend line serving is the resistance. You can see that so far the trend line is already respected four times, four times in a row, sellers were selling from that. Then we can also uh, spot the trend line based on the lows. Yes, if we take that structure low and from that draw a trend line, here we have a very cute trend line serving as support. So you can see that the price action right here is stuck between two trend lines. One serving is the resistance and one serving is the support. And bingo, here we spotted the wedge pattern. And what does this wedge pattern mean? Hey traders, if you want to learn price action patterns, if you want to learn how to trade them, if you want to know how to set the stop loss, how to select the target level, how to select the entry, you will definitely enjoy my ebook. On my website, facilitatorcom slash ebook, you can look inside the book. You can see the content of the book. You can see the examples of the chapter. There in my book, I am teaching you my entire trading strategy, the pattern trading. So you will definitely enjoy that. The link in the description below. Each and every price action pattern has a deep meaning. And here we have a falling wedge pattern. What does falling wedge pattern mean? Falling wedge pattern signifies the weakness of beers. It signifies the oversold condition of the market. And moreover, quite often it signifies a highly probable coming reversal or a pullback. And how we can get so much information just from two contracting trend lines. The point is that if we pay close attention to the impulse lags within the wedge, we can spot a very peculiar thing. Here is our initial bearish impulse within the wedge pattern. You can see how sharp it is, how strong it is, how extended it is. And then the price retreated. And then we got our second bearish impulse within the wedge. And if we compare that bearish impulse to the initial one, you can definitely see that it is shorter, it is smaller, it is weaker. And then goes the third bearish impulse. The third bearish impulse right here is similar to the second one, but again, it is weaker than the initial one. And then we got the last bearish impulse within the wedge. And you can see that again, it is weaker. Yes, it is smaller. You can see that over time, beers become weaker and weaker. Yes, if initially the bearish rally was very strong, very sharp, just recently, just the recent bearish movement was very, very, very weak. But does it mean that it is the moment for us to buy the market right now? 
Does it mean that this weakness within the wedge signifies gives us the great opportunity to buy? Not really. While the market is trading within the boundaries of the wedge path, it remains bearish. Yes, while it is trading within, while the market is within, the trend remains bearish. The trigger that we are looking for is the bullish breakout of the resistance of the range, of the wedge. Only when its resistance is broken, only when we have the Kindle close above its resistance, only then we expect a pullback or even the trend reversal. And you must remember that the market may stay within the boundaries of a falling wedge pattern for a very long period of time. And there is just a one single tip that will help you to be prepared for a breakout. This tip will help you to spot the point from where a strong bullish rally will most likely start. And how do we do that? We simply need to identify the closest key level, the closest key structure support. Here on the left we have such a support. You can see how decent that structure level is. And you can see that it, at the moment the market is approaching that structure. What does it mean? It means that bulls will try to push. Once that key level is reached, bullish volumes will accumulate and bulls are preparing for a breakout attempt. Once the key level is reached, you constantly monitor the instrument. You watch how the price reacts to the key level. You watch how it reacts to the boundary of the wedge. And only after the breakout, you buy. If the market is trading quite far from key levels, if the price is trading beyond key structure levels, it is very important for you to not really treat the breakouts of the wedge. Yes, most of the time it will be a false breakout. Most of the time it will, it will give you a false signal and after a breakout the price will just keep falling. So your task analyzing the falling wedge pattern, treating the falling wedge pattern, is to wait until the moment when the key level is reached and only then you treat the breakout of such wedge. And similar thing with the rising wedge pattern. Everything starts with the price action analysis. Your task is to identify the legs of the market. Your task is to follow the market from lows to highs, from highs to lows, and draw the zigzags, draw the impulses. And based on them, you should try to tell a story. Here, definitely with the impulses, we can see that the market is trading in a bullish trend. The market is growing. We have the sequence of the high lows, high highs, and it is just the perfect example of the bullish trend. Then, based on the lows and highs, we can try to draw the trend line. And remember that the trend line must be confirmed by at least three touches. Yes, the price should bounce from the trend line at least three touches to make it valid. Here from that structure low, we can try to draw a trend line. Here you can see we have a very, very cute, very perfect trend line respected many times in the past. And you can see how strong support it is for the market participants. Same thing with the highs right here. If we take that structure high and from there draw a trend line, we can spot this rising trend line right here serving as the resistance. So you can see that the price right now is stuck between two trend lines. Yes, and here we have a perfect example of the rising wedge pattern. What does it tell us? Rising wedge pattern signifies the contraction of a price action. It signifies the weakness of bulls. It signifies the overbought condition of a market. Here, if we take our initial bullish impulse and underline that and compare that to the second bullish impulse, you can see that the second bullish impulse is, is weaker. Yes, you can see in comparison to the initial impulse, very sharp one, very strong one. The second one is also strong, but not that strong as the initial one. And if we take then the third bullish impulse, the impulse again is weaker. Yes, the impulse is weaker. You can see that that bulls are weakening, and with each and every consequent impulse, the buyers become weaker and weaker and weaker. But remember that while the market is trading within the boundaries of the wedge, it still remains bullish. Yes, while the price respects the support of the rising wedge, the resistance of that, it remains bullish. And the market may stay within the boundaries of the range for a very long period of time. And just one single tip, yes, the structure will help us to underline the point from where 
a strong bearish rally will most likely start. Always look left at structure. On the left right here we have the key structure resistance. You can see that in the recent past it was respected multiple times. We saw strong bearish rallies from that structure. And now the market is approaching that. It is the moment for us to be extremely focused on this financial instrument. It is the moment for us to look for the breakout, to wait for the breakout. As we know, most likely selling volumes are accumulating right now and the, the sellers are preparing for a breakout. The trigger for you will be the breakout, the candle closed below the support of the wedge. That will signify the, that is the trigger actually. Yes, it is the trigger that bears are willing to break the structure. They are willing to break the trend line and push lower. So, so that will be the signal for you to sell the market expecting a bearish continuation. Remember that if you see the breakout of the wedge beyond the key levels, yes, if the key level still is not reached, but you already see the bearish breakout of a rising wedge, it is preferable not to treat such a wedge. Most of the time it will be a false breakout, it will give you a false signal, so instead wait until the key level is reached. Right readers, and now learn to spot this pattern by your own. Open a random chart, draw the price action legs, and then try to spot the rising wedge pattern, the falling wedge pattern, learn to spot the breakout, learn to wait until the breakout, learn to spot the zone, the level from where the strong rally will be expected, and you will see how efficient the wedge pattern is. For more education, for more tabs, don't forget to check my ebook, the link in the description below. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next week.